If you are new here, welcome. Now's a great time to subscribe. And of course, if you are already a part of Sunflower Gang, hey girl, welcome back. Now, of course, I am jumping right into this video. Today's video is in collaboration with Hair Vivi. If you guys don't know, now you know. This is top five, top five, top five hair companies of all time. So if you're looking for a unit that is definitely gonna be of quality, you won't have to worry about bleaching the knots, plucking, doing all of the hard stuff yourself, this is my go-to, okay? And as you guys can see, they do not disappoint. So of course, I do actually have a grading rubric, which I love to use because it's actually giving me a little bit more time to really evaluate these companies so that I can make sure that you guys are actually gonna get the bang for your book, right? We all looking to save a few coins, but I wanna make sure if you're gonna be making the investment that you guys have someone to rely on to give you the real real on how these units are actually holding up. Of course, we're gonna jump right into this video. You guys, I am a stickler about packaging. When I get my unit, not only do I want it to come to me quickly I also want to make sure that the unit is going to come in mint condition forget the wig I want to make sure that the packaging looks good because that's a start presentation is everything and I definitely think hair Vivi knows what they're doing in terms of this it feels like you're getting something luxury obviously it is a little bit higher on the scale price wise so you know we don't want to beat up box okay here's a quick look at what the packaging looks like and you get a ton of goodies on the inside so more recently I have been absolutely addicted to the True Scout tape. This has been my go-to for installing wigs gluelessly with glue, spray, you name it. It's going to give you that silk-based look without having to have that weird material in between. So you guys will see that they do have some True Scout tape in here and of course you guys get a chance to select the exact color that you want. They do have I believe three or four different variations which are going to closely mimic a scalp. Obviously it's never going to be completely perfect but the idea is just to kind of bleed and fade out the knots to make them look even smaller and more like scalp and then of course they did actually end up coming out with a tool which is kind of like a comb brush situation it does have a rack tail and then of course an edge brush and an edge comb which comes in handy if you like me and you like a little swoop every now and then okay I know how y'all feel about the baby hair so don't come for your girl but this bob deserved it because if this was my natural hair I would have done the same thing okay <laughs> now hair vb does give you guys a disclaimer if you get a unit and it's not the right color size texture all of the things there is a tag on the actual unit so if for any reason you need to return it please return it with the tag and do not cut off the lace I'll say that again. Do not cut off the lace and do not cut off the tag because of course you do have the option to do like an exchange or a return if needed. I don't see why you would. I still have most of my hair VV, pretty much all of my hair VV wigs for the past what eight years you guys can go back through the playlist and you'll see the very first video i ever did for them neither here nor there okay taking the unit out of the packaging you guys can see the bob already came pre-styled there's like a light curl now obviously because units that come pre-styled are typically going to be smushed in the box I don't usually have a lot of confidence in companies that try to do that i did it with my own personal wig line and a lot of the times the curls were limp but where you win is that with the bob the curls of course are going to be a little bit more effortless so unless you're looking for something super sleek y'all this is giving the vibes as y'all can see all right now typically i like to wear my units gluelessly so of course i literally just have my hair smoothed back i didn't do anything too too crazy um i do recommend that if you're going to be wearing this like long term definitely make sure that you do some small cornrows if you can if your hair is super short slick it back do what you have to do but make sure that the unit is going to fit smooth and flat so i literally shampooed conditioned my hair and laid it down while it was wet put it into like a little braid at the nape of my neck flipped it up and then actually put on the wig cap i don't recommend doing it that way because of course my hair is still partially damp and this is not for the long-term wig wear so if you were like me and you just want to style for a day or two you don't feel like doing the braids girl let me know if y'all want to see that video. I'm a little ashamed to put it out there, but it's just real. Now, when I first got this unit, I did see that the part was actually on the right side. I'm more of a left side part just because I love this side of my face more than this side. Y'all, it's like a, it's a weight thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I chew more on this side than this side, but my face is just slimmer on this side. So y'all, probably like, girl, Chrissy, shut up. Okay, I hear you. I can hear you. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so I decided to do a left side part, which 
turned out to be a little bit cuter in my opinion. So all that I did was take a little bit of cream of nature mousse just to slick the hair over, hit it with the blow dryer just to get the hair going in the direction that I wanted. And then once it was completely dry or mostly dry, I did go through with a hot comb just to kind of help smooth everything down. And then took a little bit of the pump it up spritz just to go along uh, some pieces of the hair that were kind of like little flyaways. So I just sprayed just a little bit just to smooth everything down. Now, the best thing that I love about the hair VV units is that the lace is completely transparent. Okay, do you hear what I am saying? Transparent. You guys can see what I mean. When it's time for me to trim this lace off, I didn't have to worry about gluing this down beforehand, laying this down with any type of mousse, waiting 10 minutes, no. So you don't have to worry about the hassle of all the extra steps. Literally, you're throwing this on and you should be out of the door. So all that I did was go ahead and pretty much just trim the lace all around my hairline, which y'all can see the mill, okay? Gluelessly. If you wanted to wear this glueless, you absolutely could. I know sometimes you guys are like, but Chrissy, the flaps, the flaps. Y'all slick that little piece of hair down and don't even worry about it, okay? Most of the time, y'all are going to work anyway, so it's not a big deal. But if you are a little bit more, you know, conscious about it like I am, <laughs> I like to take either some glue or a little bit of the Pump It Up Spritz just to go along the sides and I'll like dab it in with my fingers just a little bit at a time. And of course, make sure that you really kind of get detailed on trimming off the lace if you need to. And so yeah, take your finger and just dab it in. I make sure to do that on both sides. I usually hit it with the blow dryer. This time I actually had the blow dryer like in between my legs so it was blowing as I was doing it so it could dry super fast. <laughs> and then of course the style is pretty much set. So throughout this video, I ended up not needing like a flat iron, curling rod, nothing. I left the curls exactly the way that they came and the bob is nice and stacked. It gives like very much, I don't, I wanted to say Lord Farquaad when I first put it on, but I can't even do myself like that. Like it actually is giving the bobs. Y'all see what's going on. It's giving auntie, but elevated, okay? <laughs> You guys can see just how nice and detailed the parting is. You do get a ton of parting space. Of course, all the details to the actual unit, the cap size, density, all of the above will be listed down in my description box below. So definitely make sure to check it out. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, definitely make sure to do that because you guys have been saying like, oh, I finally found your TikTok or I didn't even know you had one. Y'all, it's, it's probably shame on me. I've gotten more consistent with posting. So of course, Instagram, TikTok, definitely make sure that you guys are following me on either one of those platforms. I'm even on Triller these days, okay? Now my favorite thing about the unit so far, aside from just the quality of hair i always expect that the hair vv units are gonna come top tier okay i don't ever really have complaints about the texture of the hair tangling shedding the luster of the hair i mean everything is doing what it needs to do the knots on this unit are definitely really really small so small y'all let me give you a little close-up you can see just how small the knots are how everything just kind of bleeds into my skin i'm looking at myself in the mirror and can't tell where it begins or ends okay that's what we're going for. Now, in this video, I did actually decide to do a little bit of little baby hair, a little swoop. So I took a little bit out near the curved part area, cut that, and then, of course, sleeked it down with a little bit of cream of nature, hit it with a little pump it up just to apply a little bit of spritz so it wouldn't go anywhere. And that's it. That's it. That's all. You truly don't even need hot tools if you don't want to use them. Y'all, you can install this unit straight out of the packaging and go. I love that. Now, obviously, if you want to do a middle part, you still have that option there. If you don't want to, you don't have to. The choice is yours. And so, of course, all that I did to pretty much seal the style, of course, I took a little bit of hairspray, again, just to go over some of the flyaways, and that's it. I'm here for the messy look. I know you guys are here for it, too. I do actually have a haul showing you guys where I got all of my tank tops. I know a lot of times you guys are like, girl, let me know what's going on, and I only make it about hair, so I apologize for that. There's so many other things going on. If you are new here, welcome. This is cute. Like, I'm loving it one length and it cuts right underneath my chin it's almost like they designed this for me like what this whole little area is doing what it needs to do 
Y'all tell me I can wear anything, but you can wear it too. So far, so good. I'm giving this hair a 10 out of 10. Y'all already know. I was gonna wait to tell you guys this a little bit later on in the video, but who are we kidding? Y'all seeing the vibes. You seeing what's going on. Hair VB has done it again. 10 out of 10. I love it. You'll love it too. This is a bob. This is how you do it. And my main tip is gonna be if you do the bob with the bangs, try not to do just a straight back part. Try to do a curved part that kind of starts from the top of your forehead and curve it into the back area. It's gonna help just everything lay the way it needs to. So 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. And of course, I love you guys so much. Stay pretty and I will see you in my very next video. Bye babies.